Hey everyone, it's Larry here at LC Model Building, and uh, this episode we're going to be doing a cathedral, um, kind of in the uh, Philadelphia style um, look, basically. So it has that old kind of gothic look with uh, the red brick and all that kind of stuff through town. Um, and then we add some people in and a cemetery scene and all kinds of other little treats along the way. So um, I put together a few different buildings in here too during the... Um, during the interim while I was waiting for parts to dry on the cathedral. So just kind of bear with it. There's a lot of buildings that get added um, as we're going. So thank you very much for watching. Please uh, give a subscribe. Definitely trying to build the railroad side of the, um, of the channel now. Um, but we are very soon going to be starting on Bismarck as well. So again, thank you very much for watching. Let's, let's get started. Okay, so I'm doing some rearranging. I kind of reset the, where the buildings are. And what I'm going to do, taller buildings are going to be in back. I got one or two more tall buildings that will end up being along there. Um, I'm going to put some of the shorter buildings up here towards the front. And then we're going to have another road here. So... I get the fact that like there would be businesses on the back side and storefronts on the front the front side I guess you would say of this road but obviously you won't be able to see that so for effect um, I'm going to just kind of make it a, a shortened type block and then uh, it will essentially show this block and that block and then you'll have the back road back here which I expanded that you can now see that we're um, about six feet in on that. I went ahead and built a, um, a skyscraper, um, set getting ready to get, you know, put up and all that. So the city is actually under construction, um, obviously, as you can see. Um, obviously, I still got sidewalks, and we'll get into doing details around the roads and all that sort of stuff as we get farther along. But, I've decided that this whole front area here is going to all end up being smaller type buildings like this. Um, I'm going to relocate this little fast food district. I have this and that, and there's a McDonald's and a Dairy Queen and some other stuff. That's all going to kind of get relocated, so this will all be more downtown type area. And then this church is also going to get relocated, and that's going to come back over closer to the residential area because... This video, we're actually going to be doing the um, Volmer um, um, Cathedral, and I plan on putting that into the middle of the downtown area, um, kind of similar to what you'd see in, you know, a bigger old city, um, you know, Philadelphia, New York, where... Uh, churches, cathedrals would be right in amongst the taller buildings as they're going. So that's going to be what this video basically encompasses is building that. And then we're going to also put some subway stations um, throughout. So I've decided that on the front here of my table, and kind of excuse the mess down here, I'm using it as storage, but on the front of my table here, I'm going to build a drop down and this is going to be a subway terminal down here. So you'll be able to see up here, there'll be a terminal, not a terminal, but a, um, a platform, <laughs> not a platform, a uh, entryway going down to this level. And I'm going to just run it between probably two sections, so it's going to be a back and forth train. Um, but I think it'll be kind of cool. So I'll be able to put one here and one here, not in this general spot per se. It'll probably actually be farther down that way only because I want to have one terminal station on this end and then one down this way also. Um, and then when this, where this mess is right here, this is going to end up being the Milwaukee station, um, which is quite a big station. So we're going to be building that as well in a future video. And then there's going to be a roundhouse um, behind it and kind of a, uh, a uh, turntable type deal. So... Anyway, um, that's kind of what the plans look like. Uh, long way to go till we actually get there, but um, that's basically where we're at. So we're going to get started on this uh, cathedral, and uh, let's get going. Okay, so this is the kit we're going to build here um, for for that cathedral scene, and I already kind of opened it. Now, I'm doing, I'm going to end up doing it in 
a red brick with cream kind of following even though these would be extremely large bricks i'm just trying to kind of follow the theme that i have going on for the town so um i think it'll be fine um it basically will be red brick all down here and then the steeple's going to be that cream color and the windows um will be a cream color just kind of like get, like i said following that uh that philadelphia eastern pa style so um i'm gonna go ahead and get these cut out and uh start getting pieces painted for it um the first step here basically has us getting oh it's this one has us getting the uh front entry way ready so i'm not going to go completely step by step through this um just kind of show spots as i go um but i have actually multiple buildings that i'm working on building right now and this is just one that i am quite interested in doing because i think it's gonna be a pretty cool aspect for the city um and we're gonna do a brick sidewalk kind of around it and all that kind of stuff just to get that old look um but yeah let me go ahead and get this painted up and uh we will be back okay so while i'm waiting for the church to dry i went ahead and got this one painted up i'm going to put my windows in it um similar to the previous this is just a quick um throw together building literally four walls and a roof so um not a whole heck of a lot of work to it but i did paint all that and you know do my my brickwork and all that so i'm gonna go ahead and get windows in it um and get the uh a little bit of weathering on it and this building will pretty much be done so this is a fairly easy one like i said it's only four walls so in the meantime um i have the paint drying on the bottom half of the cathedral and uh yeah i'm gonna let that dry get the windows done on this and then i'll be back okay so i'm doing the outer wall here i did one already so you can kind of see what that looks like and uh i'll just basically show what i'm doing but um it's got the brickish color that i'm looking for and then this one obviously is the front now they don't exactly join there's a piece that kind of goes there but we'll see that later as we're going here um i do notice one error the directions don't have a window here and there's actually not a piece for it so that's kind of odd but uh i don't know we'll kind of figure that out as we're going so what i'm doing to basically achieve this i'm using a tamiya paint and i honestly do not like tamiya paint that much for brushing um just because the coverage isn't the best so i've had to go over this twice on the other pieces so far um but i'm basically just painting the uh the base in this uh kind of cement ish color and uh yeah you can see it just it, the coverage is not the best so i'm gonna paint the base and get that right and then I'm going to paint the ledge right here, all the way around it. And then I also painted the roof line, which uh, I'm debating if I'm going to make this kind of a, a greenish roof to simulate copper. Or if I'm going to just do like a black, um, a black shingled type roof, I'm going to take a look at some pictures of, uh, you know, churches of the era to make that decision. Now it has gutters that are in green. They're molded in green. Obviously, I'm going to end up painting them, but uh, that would makes sense you know to have the copper gutters but i just got to decide if the actual roof itself is going to be a copper roof so i'll think about that here look at some pictures 
and kind of make a decision once I get closer to that. But um, I do really like the detail in this kit. Uh, I've used a couple Volmer kits before in the past, um, and uh, I've always liked their their overall detail in the kit. So um, definitely recommend it. And uh, I got mine on uh, this one on Euro Eurotrains dot com um real nice guy and the price was pretty fantastic compared to uh i think i saw it on amazon for 150 dollars and i got this for under 100 so can't complain so i'm gonna work on just painting this and then i'll come back once uh i have the second coat on here and we'll pick up from there um, with uh, the next part. So let me work on painting and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the windows in and the door. Um, so I painted them already. And that I just kind of used that, that cream color that I've been talking about. Um, and just basically running some glue around the outside but this should be definitely more than enough to hold it um, then the windows are here and they're already painted as well Now, this paint that I used, for some reason, has like a weird flaking to it, so I've had to like wipe it off a little bit um, to get it off, but it kind of actually works because it gives it a little bit of a, um, not a weathered, but a uh, an older look, like it's been repainted multiple times and stuff like that, so I'm okay with it. At first I was a little frustrated, but then I kind of liked it so I kept it all right so same thing here um, I'm gonna paint around the outer edge or not paint but uh, glue around the outer edge and then I'm gonna drop the window down on it while the glue is still wet and just keep going along as we go here so I'm purposely getting a little bit on the top, as you can see, and enough to hold it then onto the actual wall of the building. And that worked really good on the other side, so basically just doing the same. Now this is a lot different than building models. Um, like a model, I would never do some of the things that I do with train buildings, but the other factor in it is that once you do this you really don't ever go back in and touch it again on the inside generally so I do want them to stick you know long term and I don't do anything that you could see on the outside from a glue standpoint go and then we got the round window which uh, same thing Let me just kind of do my little wipe off I'm gonna drop that on there and our window so then once we get our windows on we can go with our stained glass. Now it comes with the glass here for you and you basically just have to cut it out and stick it on. Um, these are a sticker, which is kind of nice. Not having to deal with decal. 
so just hoping that they stay on long term the cut doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be inside you'll never see it Now, the one other, I have pieces drying right now that uh, go on the outside wall. Um, I'll show that in a minute, but they're not ready to get put on yet. And what's real nice about this, I'll be able to run an LED light on here or inside here and it'll show right through the stained glass really nice So then we'll finish this one here and then we got just the round one and I'll flip it over and you can see what we got. And once this part's done, I do believe we'll be able to start gluing some down to the base, which is nice because then it'll start to look like something. Getting stickers off is fun. Okay, and there we go. So now we got basically three walls and the back has the curved sanctuary area so that's like a whole different setup um, but I'm not gonna really do that until I start well once I get the uh, the um, base down and for the base I went ahead and painted it concrete and then I lately went over it with some gray and that kind of gave me a stone look so pretty happy with that all in all I might hit a couple pieces of brown here and there. Not sure yet. And this round part here, I don't know what that is for either, but I guess it could hold a light. I don't know. Not too worried about it. So let me take a look here at. Okay, so I went ahead and got a lot of it put together. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, the roof, you can see, I went with a green. And then there is some trim pieces that go on here. And then the steeple I have kind of set. Um, there is some other pieces that go along the spire here. And I'm hoping they draw that in because that's not exactly how I want it to be. Uh, but if not, I'll get it to where it needs to be. Um, the next part we have is the, uh, not the atrium, I forget what they call this, the, I guess, sanctuary. So we got that, and then we got these upper little roof pieces to go here. So I'm going to work on putting these together a while, um, which they basically just are this. And I got to do my gray um, paint rub on them to get them looking the same. And uh, then we'll get them together. And there's a whole bunch of little ornate pieces that kind of go on it then too. Um, so they basically go all on here and here on the spires basically. So let me uh, go ahead and get this ready to go and uh, start putting that together and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so these are the spires that go on the, uh, not the spires, the, uh, I guess these would be to keep birds off of it, um, and they go on the, uh, on the spire, so I'm hoping, like I said, that I'll be able to keep the, or get the, uh, um, thing to kind of straighten out a little bit 
but if not I'll figure out a different avenue to go with that so they basically just get glued in between the uh, two pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and get them glued on quick and we'll see how this comes out so the first one didn't give really any issue which is good but that one isn't really bent so that's why I kind of chose that first just to see how it would go and anything it like I'm believing would have been like copper I did in this green so that's why we are green Just trying to get that to stay, which we seem to be okay now. There we go. Okay, so this one has to kind of get pushed back. So I'm hoping that when I set that, actually I can take this off, it's not glued on. Um, when I set that, I'll be able to kind of hold it back to get it where I need it to go. But if not, I'll end up just separating the glue there and um, I'll re-glue it. But just to get it where I have it now was like three different attempts. So the spire is not the easiest thing to put together. So I'm not exactly crazy about taking it apart. Okay. I'm going to use some adhesive promoter to try to help get that to stick but if I let go I'm gonna lose it but I think that actually just helped so I can run some right down here and then I'm just gonna hit this whole thing with a little bit of a doll coat once it's done, and that'll get rid of the uh, the um, glue marks. That worked, beautiful. Okay, so I just need to move that. There we go. So now we got to try to do the same exact thing with this next one here. And once that works, I'm just going to pause it because uh, that way you're not just watching me do the same thing over and over again. My biggest concern, like I said, was getting these to join together, which they seem to be doing, so I'm happy. So this one, I'm going to try to get without having to glue separately, but if I don't, I will. And I'm going to 
have to glue it separate. That's okay. seems to be sticking and I'm happy with that so this one I just got to glue back in I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these last four and then we'll be back and uh, we'll put the uh, the little um, dormers on here and probably start putting the sanctuary together so I'll be right back okay so I got all of those on and uh, everything came out great so I'm real happy with that now um, next step up is gluing on the uh, walls for the sanctuary. So I've already began that and basically we're just putting some glue along the bottom and then some along the wall as I continue to work my way around the edge, not the edge, but the side of it as I'm going. Now it has, um, not, I don't know if you'd call them buttresses, but I think they're I mean, they're basically like a trim piece that go in between each section of wall and kind of cover the joints in. So, um, basically, I just am trying to get it as close as possible. And at first, I was thinking I was going to need some, um, some uh, light, uh, you know, joint stuff, but uh, I don't think I will, being at they should stay together or they the light should be blocked out once those pieces are installed so this is a little annoying getting these together like this because it doesn't really want to stay how it's supposed to so just got to persuade it a little bit with some of this And then we'll put the next one on. And just kind of basically work our way around the uh, circular section there. Now that one went on real nice. But I'm not really surprised that these are giving a bit of a challenge. It's just because of the nature of what they are. And I gotta paint the pieces that go on here yet. Um, they, uh, they're molded in white or tan and I sprayed them tan on accident thinking that they were not part of what they are so I gotta go back and correct that quick and get them kind of the brick color, but that's okay. In the meantime, I can put on the uh, the roof and the spoutings and um, all of that. When I say spoutings, I mean gutters for people that don't talk like me. Same thing. Okay, this is the last one. And I think I'm just going to try to slide it down. I learned from doing the front spire. Oh, that wasn't bad. It was a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Getting the side pieces in. So, yeah, this one's still giving a bit of a headache here. Not too bad, but a little on the annoying side. There we go. Okay. So I am going to just put a little bit of glue right here and then hit it with some spray just to kind of get that sealed or not sealed but set. All right. 
wonderful. So, next up, there's this roof piece that goes kind of over that. That um, it's still drying apparently. <laughs> So I'm, it, it gets completely covered anyhow, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, that I just got a fingerprint in it, but uh, yeah, that goes there. So we're gonna let that dry for another minute or two. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and start the, um, the dormers. And they look fairly straightforward and easy, just um, a tan window frame and a piece of green roof. That's essentially all that there is to it. So, um, okay, here they are. So, we got our window frame out here. Hopefully, you can see. And then we have our two pieces of sides here. Okay. And they go so that the angle is on the inside. So I'm just gonna glue these onto the roof first. I'm only gonna put together one of these on the video here just because there's no point in showing all six of them. Okay, so we got that. Then we have our window frame, and that gets a vent in it. Well, I don't know if it's a vent, but it's brown siding then, if it's not a vent, but whatever. So, they seem to be, yeah, they're side restrictive. So yeah, they sit right there like that. So essentially that's what you got. And then your roof piece just goes right over top of it. And I kept them in our green, same as uh, everything else. We're just gonna pop it a little bit of glue on there and drop it right on. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these five done while I'm waiting for this to dry. And then I'll come back and I'll put the roof on. And uh, yeah, we're getting close here. But then we're also, I think, depending on the video length, because I don't think this is crazy long, I think I'm gonna show the grounds around it that I'm gonna do too, because I'm planning on doing a cemetery and uh, the brick wall, or not brick wall, but the brick, um, the brick sidewalk and all that good stuff. So it'll be, a good opportunity these are those little buttresses that go back here i gotta paint them although well, they might look okay white yeah i gotta think about that so i don't know it might not match though I'll, I'll put one up to it and see how i like it but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put the next set of these up and uh we'll be back okay so the dormers are all on and i put these two pieces of trim on each side there. Now this goes right down the center of the roof. Um, again, this would be used basically to stop pigeons and birds from landing up there pretty much. But nice little detail they added to this. And it just fits right in between the two pieces of roof there. So we'll just get that set. Okay, 
so there we go. There we go. Now, the next part is spoutings and gutters. So they go along the edges there. And uh, I did already install the ones around the, um, the um, sanctuary. Um, I wish I would have set this. So that's kind of a note to anybody building this. Um, I didn't use the inner roof part to set that and that was a mistake. So obviously you get better results uh, by using that. So do that. Okay, that goes there. And then it will have gutters that go down to the ground. From that, um, and they just kind of glue onto the side of the building, but they don't actually reach the ground, which is strange enough. So, I guess you just put them as far as they go. That just stays there, and I know you can't really see it in the video. Sorry. So, I'm gonna set them and I'll pause it in the meantime. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I got the spires on the. I know how that glued on, obviously. Um, I got the spires on the tower here, so they're all up and on. And for those, it's just a matter of reading the directions and making sure you're doing the right ones. So, I'm waiting just to um, have the paint dry for the. Uh, the uh, buttresses that go back here um, but in the meantime we're going to do real quick because I said at the beginning the subway terminals and this is a fairly fast easy quickie um, but it will be cool to have it in the uh, in the layout so let me grab the pieces and we'll be right okay back. so first up we're going to take our sidewalk piece and I want this to be on the inside so that it will be kind of uh, closer to a building and we're just going to glue our outer trim ring onto here just like that and then we're going to take our wall pieces and drop them right on basically touch up a little bit on the top there um, with the paint that's okay just a little bit of primer red is all I used so I'll just go across it with the brush it'll be fine And then you can see it has the inner side right here. And that's cut out as it should be for it. Now, I debated on whether or not to try to do lighting on this. And I think... I could get away with it, but it will make a lot more drilling and challenges, so I'm going to actually forgo it as much as I really wanted to. Um, I know I could do it, just uh, I don't know that I have the desire to spend the time to make it happen, because I'd have to drill through these posts. And then I'd have to drill through each of those in order to get it done. And that's a lot of uh, 
trying to avoid making anything bad happen, basically with a drill bit that I just don't want to do. So, yeah, we're going to forgo that. Okay, so these just get glued onto here on all four or six spaces, basically where the railing went up. Not where the railing went up, but where the uh, stanchion holding the railing goes up. That's what I meant to say. Now, you can build this with two options. You can put the roof on it, or you can put the lights on it. Um, I'm opting to put the lights on. For this particular one now. Other ones later in the city, because I'm going to probably build about four more of these. Like, over in the neighborhood, I may... Uh, I may up to do that, and when I'm saying neighborhood, I mean over where the houses are, not not so much the city piece of it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead in a minute here, after I build the stairways I'm gonna go ahead and touch up paint the top there so that's done and then we'll put the light bulbs on so for the stairwells here um, we basically just glue our pieces together um, so the stairs run right under the There's like a lip here, even has a little spot for the stair, one stair to go into. So I'm just gonna actually glue that in. And then uh, we're gonna glue the bottom onto it afterwards. So I just need to get the glue on this side. And then that goes right there. And that's basically the stairwell that I just did upside down. <laughs> that's neat. What's the difference? It goes that way. What's the difference? The direction that you would be walking to go down. Oh. So we're going to have to repaint that in a second here. Okay, we'll try that again. But there you go. Mistake on video. So, there we go, now we're, now we're pretty well set to where that's supposed to be. I 
I'm gonna just hit it with some accelerator to move this along. Okay, that worked well. So now, a little bit of glue on the back side here. And that fits right into there. And finally, cross beam here. So that's there. There we go. So now that will go like that essentially, but I am going to repaint the uh, spot that I messed up there and uh, then we'll put our signs on. So let me fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, so essentially I didn't glue this on yet. Um, I've got to drill out and cut out the hole for it in the uh, into the layout, but that's essentially it just lays into there and then I got the signs on already and the lights and there we go so that's how you build the subway um, entryway and then you'll be able to see down in there with the steps and all that and uh, once it's glued it'll be good so that's that um, and it comes with all these different sign options too so you can do a more modern one you can do an older one you can do a red line a blue line a green line um, and then you also have the cutting template, so you can just cut out your, where you want to go um, into your layout. So that's it. So I'm going to save that for when it's time to cut, and we're going to finish up the um, the back buttresses, buttresses on here, and uh, that will wrap up the building part, and then we'll probably start laying or working on the layout i just got to see what i'm looking like for time right now because i don't want to make this video overly long either although i think it is getting long so i'm going to cut these out and then uh glue them on quick and they literally just go right onto the side here so there's nothing crazy it i got to show with it um but i just figured i'd show them since they're the last couple pieces of this building kit. So I'm gonna pause it and then we'll go over to the layout. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, over here, this is gonna be like a real old narrow alley. I'm gonna stop and pick some cobblestone up tomorrow and it's just gonna be a very narrow alley. This is gonna be brick. I gotta age it up quick to make it look like this. And this is gonna be the sidewalk brick. And then I'm gonna have the fencing go around and we're gonna have some uh, cemetery spots in here and this will be kind of very very old world um late 1700 type look and then same thing will happen over here on this side so i'm going to age up some brick a little bit and uh there will be some trees and shrubs and stuff like that around but it will mainly be like planters i'll put a couple little benches in here and stuff like that and uh that's how it's gonna look so be right back okay so i went ahead and put in um brick uh sidewalk and a brick path or brick um landing area for kind of the grounds here this is going to end up being a cemetery um along here and probably a little bit over here i'm going to have some walking paths through it and i'm going to print out some uh benches and that sort of thing and then i'll probably put some trees in now over here, I went for that old school, like Philadelphia type um, cobblestone road with uh, sidewalk. Um, this will end up having modern uh, sidewalk over here. And then we have our subway station right there. But um, I'm going to put a little bit more sidewalk in between there. Um, 
now I'm going to drill some holes, and I do have a seam line right here, which really bugs me. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that or not, but I might just have to deal with it. But I'm going to put some lights uh, down through here, and I'm going to kind of alternate them, um, one on this side, one on that side, and vice versa, kind of work, work my way up. Same thing over on this side. And then... Um, I'm going to drill the holes, basically slip the uh, wire down through, and then tack these down. Now, back here, i got to add a little bit more brick, and um, obviously the road here will continue to extend, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, just kind of has it where it's at. Uh, for the wall, uh, that, that is custom made. I just used uh, the brick sheeting that I used for this wall, um, cut it down to shape, or cut it down to size and then uh, use some styrene on the top and then a piece of fencing. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and drill these um, these uh, holes for the lighting and uh, start to go ahead and get them in. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I got some trees in here. I started playing with shrubbery, but I didn't glue it in yet, so I'm going to move that around. Um, and now I'm going to start putting some tombstones in. Over here you can see I got my lights up and uh, two of the buildings done. I still have a corner building that's going to go here and then one more back here. So this will actually back up just a little bit. Um, and that will give me my, my street here. Um, and then I just got done uh, 3D printing some benches. So they'll go kind of in here and, you know, over on this side. And then this side also has... Uh, has some lights and I gotta glue this yet. I haven't gotten that quite glued down yet. Um, but yeah, I'm coming along. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the tombstones glued in and then uh, paint up some benches. So I'll be back. Okay, so here we are. A um, little bit of an update. I got the uh, buildings over here pretty much done. Still wanna add something into the storefront here um, just to kind of give it a little bit of uh, Realism, I still need to add the um, horse tie-out post uh, along this road here quick, and then i got to glue down this sidewalk right here. But aside from that, we're just about done with this part. The last part, or the last thing that I'm really going to do for this is um, add some park benches in and some people. So let me get those tie-out posts in and uh, add some people, and we'll wrap up okay, the Okay, so there we are. we got some people in there now. Um gives it a little bit more life. I'll probably add some more. Um, there really isn't that many in there right now. I just got to paint them up, but uh, at least it has some people in there, and um, it definitely brought it quite a bit to life. So um, that's pretty much that. So we're going to end up this, or end this video now. Um, next one is going to be the Milwaukee um, train station, and that's actually going to come over here. So this uh, this build is huge. It's uh, it's about two feet long and about two and a half feet tall. So we're going to have the Milwaukee station here. There's going to be a turntable here and then a roundhouse back here. And then the main line will kind of loop around all through here, um, up, to, up through the front and on the back here. So that's kind of the long-term plans, but uh, there we are. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time here at LC Model Building.